you know, he was not, you know, playing a lot of competitive golf. But I do remember, actually, um, somehow we ended up playing each other in the final, the Tasmanian Amateur, right after I played the, um, had won the Australian Amateur. So I was coming in red hot. I get to the final and I'm playing Peter over 36 holes. And it was, it was kind of weird because we had such a sort of strong relationship, but I was, I was in the middle of like, you know, trying to create a name for myself and, you know, take no prisoners type thing. Um, so it was like a weird day. And uh, so I was playing really well. Um, Peter played a little scratchy and then, you know, his, his Achilles heel was at, at whatever age he was, mid sixties, you know, he would start, he'd get a little bit sus with the putter. So when the putter left him, um, it sort of turned ugly and we got to the, I think it was about the 20, what the hole was it? The 26, 25th hole in the afternoon. And I'm, I'm 10 up. Um, and he's, you know, he's got two putts to halve the hole. And he leaves it four feet short. And uh, I said to Peter, I said, just pick it up, Peter. You can't, I'm not going to, like, I'm not, this is not how it's happening. And he shot me one of those looks like, no, you, you can't <laughs> give me this putt. You know, I've got to earn this. And, you know, don't, and basically, and he, he sort of, as we're wandering off pulling our carts, he's like, Matthew, you can't give me that part. People, people will speak. People will talk of it as if to say, you, you, you don't show me any mercy and I'm going to earn everything I get. And it was, uh, it was a pretty strong lesson. And, uh, but that was the sort of guy he was. That's great. Yeah. Uh, great, great story. 